let's take just a few minutes to take care of ourselves. Self-care yoga, if you will. Let's start off with some shoulder rolls. Let's go forward first. About five. I like the backward ones better, so I saved them for last. Now stir the pot. You can make your pot stir a little bitty tiny. Stir, or you can make it medium. Or you can make it big. I think that's about five. Pick your size. We'll go a few more times this way. Now let's switch, go back the other way. I love this pose. Nice spiral motion. felt good. Now let's do an easy little seated twist. Before you twist, be sure your spine is extended to its full height. You want to be sure your spine is nice and elongated before you twist. So let's inhale, stretch up, opposite hand to the opposite knee. Your other hand can go behind you as a prop, or if you don't like that, you can drape it across the back of your waist. And as you exhale, twist. You can turn your head back forward a few times if you like or not. Be sure not to get carried away. Sometimes I twist too far and stay too long. Let's stay a little longer this way. Release, come back to center, take a couple of breaths. Be sure you're still extended up tall. And then as you exhale, twist the other way. Use your hand as a prop behind you or drape it across the back of your waist. This is my little feline friend, Goldie. She likes to run into my videos sometimes. Now let's lie down on our backs for a rock and roll. Bring your knees in and use your hands to pull them in and push them out. Gentle little massage on your low back. Can also go from side to side. Now for circles, just push your knees in circles and you'll get a nice massage down on your sacrum. Circles the other way. Back up to sitting. 
Let's do a sphinx. If we can get down on our bellies. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Easy little back bend. Bit of a heart opener. Stay just a little bit longer. And let's push ourselves back. Let's play your knees apart. Sit down on your heels, pads of your big toes touching, ideally, for pose of a child. If you want to extend your arms out, you can. If you prefer to bring them in, that's fine. You want to stack your hands, prop your forehead there. My favorite is to stack my two fists. I love this pose. It's one of the most relaxing, restorative poses in all of yoga. Switch which hand is on top and on bottom right now. Oh, sometimes when I get into pose of a child, I don't want to get out. Our final pose is legs on a chair. Normally I do legs up the wall, but today I'm going to do legs on a chair because it's even easier and more restorative. If you prefer to use a couch or an easy chair in your family room, whatever you have is just fine. Let me grab, I'm actually going to use a stool because my chair pops and creaks. If you'd like a pillow, grab a pillow. Find where you're most comfortable and hang out there. Get around your body. 
there's any places that feel drained or strained, tense or tired, direct your breath toward those areas. Send some love toward those areas. If you take just a, a few minutes to put some energy on yourself, you'll have so much more energy to give back to those you love, to your job. But especially those you love. I'm going to stop talking so that I won't distract you from turning inward for just a few precious moments. Let's slowly come up to sitting. One hand on one shoulder, one hand on the other shoulder. Give yourself a hug for showing yourself just a little bit of the love and care and attention you're constantly flowing out to everyone else. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anyone else. Scoop it all up. Pull it down. Keep it with you. Namaste. I hope you'll hang around Hit like and subscribe and hang out and watch a few videos on my YouTube channel. Sometimes I binge on YouTube for more time than I'd care to admit. <laughs>